Oh, oh, oh. Hello, uh, welcome to Sunday here on Crafters TV. Look, that's the guilty party's name. Uh, lovely to have your company. Look, I have my, um, well, Adam, our director, called it a vest. I think I'll call it a waistcoat. And I think black is very flattering, isn't it, for a Sunday where you've eaten too much over the weekend already. Um, listen, welcome to the end of Black Friday because this is your last chance um, on, we we'll call it Black Sunday, shall we, I suppose? Um, your last chance to take advantage of up to 70% off some amazing, amazing deals. There are loads of you logged on and ready to go for this double-sided mayhem that we're doing for the next couple of hours. We've got Karen in from Aruba. Beautiful, that sounds lovely. Ray says, howdy y'all from Tennessee. Happy Sunday, hope everyone had a great holiday. Oh yes, happy Thanksgiving um, and all of that. Hope you had a wonderful, wonderful time and lots and lots of turkey and pumpkin and, and and pie and stuff. I'm think I'm talking food a lot today because I bought in the biggest, biggest cake today, which I might show you in just a second. But first of all, I'm going to show you the star of our show, the internationally acclaimed star of craft. Couldn't be here today, but we've got Craig Laird instead. Craig, hello. Well, oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. Can I just say as well, I've just got over my laughter there because right at the very start when uh, Derek just pointed at his name at the bottom, we've got Johnny and Adam in the gallery and uh, Adam just shouted out a yelp because he thought he put the wrong name on the strap. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't. Uh, yes, uh, so good. It's Sunday. You know, it's been a while since I've done a Sunday. It's been ages since I've watched Too the long. Year. Too, too long. long. You Too know, long. I don't know what's Sunday, happened. all day Sunday, with yourself, got the caffeine going. <clears throat> what could go wrong? What could go Absolutely. wrong? Absolutely. And I, th I thought the memo had gone round a long time ago about us working together. Uh, Melissa says, uh, wow, it's so cold. She says, this morning there is a thick frost. It is very, very cold here in the UK. Uh, Diana, good morning to you. Hello to Becky, who's in Northern Illinois. Hello, Lee G. Oh, Lidge, Lidge Craft in North Yorkshire. I, you, you just made me wonder whether I put my contact lens in today or not, because I'm having to do this. Maybe it's just a sign of age. I am a year older now since I last saw you. Uh, Lynn says, afternoon, Derek Craig and the CTV team and everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Are you ready for some double-sided fun, Craig? Oh, I am ready. And let me tell you, it's a die cutting, it's a double-sided, and somehow we've got at least one of them, at least anyway, we've got up to 65% off. However, of course, you're in our club, so you're not even going to pay that. Wait until you see what we have got coming up over the next two hours. Oh, I have to tell you something else as well, because not only have you got the very, very talented Craig Laird to, uh, to uh, who? Craig Laird to walk you through some amazing demonstrations. You'd think I'd know his name by now, wouldn't you? Craig, what did I say? Craig something. Craig anyway, Leg. Craig, Craig Leg is here today. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to write my name as well underneath that yes, screen? You You've already you forgotten see. Adam's name. I've had yeah. to write that on a bit of paper see, and stick he, it under the screen. He has as well, you know, because stuck, very, very quickly stuck I wrote to a this, piece of way. card near the camera, Craig has had to write down the name of our director so I don't forget it. Because I, I just couldn't think of his name <laughs> earlier. Anyway, I'll keep that there and I'll put Craig down there. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, right. So. You've got a chance, would you like a chance to win? Yes, of course you would. Um, how about a Gemini Junior, and I don't think I have one about my person at the moment, but would you like to win a Gemini Junior that we don't have in this studio? In fact, I think there's only one anywhere, and it's black. To celebrate Black Friday, you could win a black Gemini Junior. Now, if you want to know what it looks like, you'll have to whiz off to our Facebook page, our Crafters TV, Facebook page and there is a post there with a black Gemini Junior. All you've got to do is write a little comment in that post and you could win the black Gemini Junior. How excited. Even you haven't got one of those, Craig, have you? I don't. I don't have one of those black ones, I'm telling you. I'd love one. I yeah, love, me too. I love the colour black. I think that would go very, very well as well. But unfortunately, I can't enter. Not allowed. It's up to you. I know. Well, you could always uh, enter on Craig's behalf, couldn't you? That'd be a lovely Christmas present, wouldn't it? Oh, that would. Wouldn't that be that would. lovely, wrapped up under the Christmas tree? Right, let's do some saving then, shall we? Let's do some double-sided dies. We've got four or five big, big bundles of brilliant double-sided dies for you to enjoy. They're all massively discounted. I mean, hugely discounted. If you've seen previous bundles with these, we've discounted them even further for the end of Black Friday. But remember that ends at midnight tonight, wherever you are, whether you're in the UK 
or the US or the EU, wherever you are, when the clock strikes midnight tonight, those deals are done. So take advantage today while you can. Let's look at your first bundle then, and this is your creator card bundle. These are phenomenal, let me tell you, absolutely brilliant. Um, here is your butterfly kaleidoscope. I have to say, I've got this one and I love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, really, really lots and lots of dimension and you can decorate other cards with the waste, actually. Well, it's not the waste, really. You can pop out the little butterflies and use them in other projects as well, which is really, really good. And I know that because I've had a little go myself. Um, here is another one, which is in the bundle as well. You get five in the bundle all, to, all told. This is Retro Floral. Now, I love this. Whether you're using these together or whether you're using them individually, I mean, that is so 70s wallpaper, isn't it? It's so, so beautiful. You know, you'd have had that in your bathroom, wouldn't you, in a certain shade of green back in 1970-something. So I've heard. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't know, of course. I was still in a pram then. It was a very, very fashionable pram as well, let me tell you. It was brown leatherette, like a caramel colour. Oh, it was gorgeous. Anyway, lots of love is the next double-sided die. Listen, if you're going to get me up early on a Sunday morning, expect gibberish to come out of my mouth. Uh, it's as simple as that. Lots of love is next from us to you. And that is brilliant because that'll be a, a, an excellent opportunity to paper piece as well. And I am really into paper piecing at the moment. Um, I just find it really, really therapeutic and great fun. Here is stargazing. I was going to sing Star Trekking then. Do you remember that was a, a song years and years and years ago? Yeah, I One remember One of those that. comedy songs. Star Trekking across the universe. You, used to, you know, when you used to go on holiday, you know, to Tenerife, <clears throat> Spain, yes. and you know, like the party clubs with the kids yeah. and that, and they're all there. Yeah. Let's do the time warp, warp again. again. That's See, sort of thing. that shows how old he really is. Although I don't remember the bathroom wallpapers. Too young. Mm. You've been in the wrong bathrooms, Craig. Uh, right, next we have, we have Decadent Deco. Decadent Deco, you need to get out more. Um, Decadent Deco is your final one in the bundle. Now, let me talk to you about the discounting on this bundle before Craig shows you some amazing samples. Originally, um, this had 50% off and it was £74.97 or 89.85 in dollars, but we've taken another 10% off that price. So now we're talking 67.47. You can see every penny's been squeezed out. 67.47 in the UK or $80.85 in the US. But no one's paying that price either because if you are a Club Inspire member, you know your price is even lower than that. So get logged in right now and your price will appear on the web in front of you. And these are amazing, Craig, aren't they? They really, really are. And just an FYI, it's called lockdown. That's why I can't get out as much. That's but true. There we go. So look at the things that you can be making. So to start off with, we're going to do a bit of an easel card as well. Double-sided dies, if you are new to them, is exactly that. You are uh, die cutting two designs in one. So one pass through your Gemini, whether it's your junior or your large Gemini, you're able to do that. You do need your special plates, but we will go over with you very, very shortly. But look at all of these. So the ones I'm showing you are one of each that you're going to be able to get within that bundle. But don't just think of cards. Think of, you know, home decor. What about projects? Look at these sort of lanterns that you can be making. So it's just a bit of cardstock you can see just there. And then what we've just done on this one here is created the panels. But then if you think, if you've got a battery-operated battery operated tea light that could sit within the middle, or maybe, you know, you could have that design there, but then maybe incorporate these uh, designs just here. So you can mix and match, you can do all these different things, but as I <clears> say, we will go over it. It's double-sided dies, all of those sort of things are going to be coming up in the two hours, and double-sided, which means it's been painted by us at Crafters Companion. Yes, yeah, so if you see anybody else with any double-sided dies anywhere other than Crafters Companion, let us know. We call the lawyers. Uh, Melissa says, I hope my bro is, <laughs> is warm out there this morning. He's hunting. Well, let him be cold hunting whatever he is hunting. Maybe it's mushrooms. Uh, maybe it's squirrels. I, I have no idea. Uh, but remember, you... Melissa, you're indoors, you're nice and warm, and you're hunting out the bargains. Uh, simple as that. Morning, Diana and everyone else. Let's do some more double-sided dies. This time, we're going a bit more floral this time, which is really, really lovely. This is a bundle of five double-sided dies, and they're all really, really, really versatile. Let's have a look at Cosmos first. I love Cosmos, because you can do it in lots and lots of different colors, can't you? Absolutely beautiful. 
Very, very nice indeed. And look at all of those elements which you can use in so many different ways. I love that center for the flower as well. You can see how that layers up just beautifully. Then we've got Dahlia Dahlia. Dahlia? Well, do you call them Dahlias or Dahlias? Crazy. Dahlias. Dahlias, yeah. yeah. Dahlias. No, Dahlia. Dahlias, I call them. Dahlias. Oh, well, you would, wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> they are dahlias, I do believe. I can't remember what their Latin name is. I'm going to look it up later. There's dahlia. You get that one as well. Dahlia, dahlia. Um, you also get peony, <laughs> or otherwise known as peony, which is the, one of the most beautiful, beautiful roses um, because they're nice, big and voluptuous, aren't they? You also get your classic rose, which is beautiful. Um, that's really nice. You can almost smell the fragrance, can't you, on a Sunday morning from those. Very, very nice indeed. And then we've got Sprigs and Blossoms, which again is beautiful. You've got to have this. If you're going for any of the, um, the floral ones, this is why this bundle is so, so good. Because if you've got any florals, you've got to have your Sprigs and your Blossoms as well and keep those in check. Now, originally, we did a... Did we do a 65% originally originally 65 percent reduction on these on the original price but now we've taken another five percent off that so that's a 70 percent saving that's genuine black friday and listen the, the thing with us here at crafters companion and crafters tv is you know the products you know the prices you know the prices they launch so we're not just buying in product for a sale this is genuine product that you know and you love. And maybe before the pennies or the cents hadn't been there to get the bundle you wanted. Look at that. That couldn't be a tinier price for a set of five double-sided dies that you will use again and again and again and again and again, like Craig will demonstrate. Absolutely, but as you see from the screen there, you know, you've got your five sets, but you're getting 17 in total. So we're having a look, we can see just on this one here. So with that one, what we're going to do is making it into a card, or what about a tag? You know, you could be bringing them into your tag, so it could be uh, on top of a gift, you know, whether it's, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, birthdays, but then just around the aperture of your cards, make them 3D, they just finish them off just nicely. You get that dimension, you get that shade, and depending on what colour cardstock you use, of course, you could still use you know things like your mirror card your glitter card anything like so but then decorate a box as well so if you can see the rose here that's actually four shades of green no it's not four shades of red and then the actual leaves are uh, two shades of the green there so you can see the things that you can decorate but then when it comes to the sprigs and blossoms so these are going to be good you know use them on their own if you want but these are going to be the perfect accents to just pop around your uh, actual roses or your uh, dahlias anything like so dahlias Dahlias, 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 potato, potato, let's call the whole thing off. Let's see what you're saying uh, this morning. Let's see what you are loving. Uh, Georgianne um, says hello from Clearwater in Florida. Well, hi there. Um, who else is watching? Oh, Katie's with us in San Francisco, where we all left our heart. Um, that's where you go over the Golden Gate Bridge, isn't it? Lovely. Did you know Hulk Hogan lives or did live in Clearwater, Florida? Really? Mm -hmm. He did, yeah. Oh, is it that time already? Um, anyway, <laughs> thank you for that <laughs> fascinating piece of information. Well, it is to who's me. He? Who's he? Oh, he's a wrestler, isn't he? Is he a wrestler? Yes. Is he a wrestler? Y you know, <laughs> is he? I never would have guessed. Um, have you still got the poster up on the inside of your, uh, on your wardrobe door? Is there a poster of Hulk Hogan inside? Is your boyhood hero? No, he's not actually. No? Just because I heard clear water. Oh. So who's the hero wrestler then? I want to know now, because there clearly is one, but it's not Hulk Hogan, so who is it? Uh, my favourite all-time wrestler all -time. from years is probably Shawn Michaels. Well, not probably, it is. Shawn Michaels. Yeah. But Fabulous. I like uh, AJ Styles from nowadays. Fabulous. Is, is he in One Direction? Anyway, I think, I think it's probably best that we move on to the next set now, isn't it, really? <coughs> He's not happy. Uh, right, let's do some double-sided toppers now. Get your samples ready, Craig. Um, we've got double-sided topper collection right now. There are five of these, and these are double-sided dies. Um, they're beautiful. Let's go through them, shall we? <laughs> um, all of my heart is the first one. That's beautiful, isn't it? Now... 
cut that in, cut that out, use the apertures with the little photos on them, use the decorative heart there. Oh my word, or you can lay them all, all up together there, which is beautiful in the unique, unique way that we do. I can't speak again, never mind. Next one is this one here, which is called floral mandala, which I quite like. I love mandalas and I love the details. And imagine what I did recently, actually, one of these detailed dies was actually, instead of paper piecing back in, I actually flooded with glitter glue uh, with different colors, which is really, really lovely. I know it's very, very basic, but I loved it. I'd really, really loved it. Um, then we've got pretty posy, which again is lovely. Very similar to floral mandala in some ways, actually. So you could kind of interchange. You could use one in the background and one in the foreground in the similar kind of project, couldn't you? Um, then we've got, I think, one of my favourites in double-sided dies because it gives you so much detail just in one pass. And that's the one which is called Floral Delights. And I love it. It's really, really cool. Um, and again, how many different colours can you go for in that? And there's also one called um, Cupcake. Pretty Cupcake. Pretty Cupcake, Sweet Cupcake. Oh, lovely. Absolutely beautiful. So you get all five of those. Now, originally the discount was 50%, uh, but we're now we've taken an extra 20% off. That's another 70% saving, if you don't mind. So it comes in at just under £46, just under $60. You want to grab these quickly while we've got them, because remember, at midnight tonight, the prices will revert back to their original amazing prices but not as amazing as they are right now in Black Friday. And these have versatility, Craig, written all over them, don't they? Absolutely, they do. And the reason that they're called toppers is because they're exactly that. They're a topper for your card. You don't need to worry about too much. I know uh, Derek was saying earlier on just there, you know, how it can be like very simple or that. And that's great. That's all that you need to do with these ones. Keep them simple on the front of your card or your project. So you can see on these ones, whether it's a, a normal style card or a gatefold card, you can be creating them. You've got the hearts that you can see just there. But then going on for your larger cards, you get to then choose what colours you want to use. Keep them all tonal or change them. If you then want to do your shape cards that you can see there so on that one there you can see just how uh, it looks just by uh, having that that, that real strong purple but then bringing in some of your yellows and your whites as well works really really well but again topper on a natural stepper card just within the center you can then have a, a little play with where you want to have the uh, flower heads you, know, you can have them all over the place sit situated in the middle if you want but then you've also got your cupcake as well so i've got a demo with the cupcake later on all of these are going to be great for uh, your uh, cardstock the little bits that you have got left over or what you can do is just cut them all out in white and then color all your individual layers with any of your classic pens or maybe even your ink pads it's entirely up to yourself or your brand new glitter markers mine, yes. arrived, mine arrived yesterday and i can't wait to start playing with them um and says did we miss derek's birthday happy belated birthday derek yes you did it was a long long time ago but it's okay it's, i've just tripped up from 23 to 24. <coughs> oh. um, i think something like that it was roughly that, Craig, wasn't it? 24? I think that's that what we decided like that. on. But you don't need to worry because no one is uh, counting her birthday this year, so you're absolutely fine. That's, try that's right. Free 2020 birthday. doesn't count, does nope. it? For anything. Um, Carleen wants to know, Craig, will you be doing daily demos for the advent calendar this year? Because I'm waiting to open mine. So yeah, so uh, keep an eye on my Facebook page either later on tonight or tomorrow, and I'll tell you all about what I've got planned with our advent calendar. Oh, oh! Do we don't get any advanced gossip then? Listen, I only come here for the gossip. Well, it's just when it comes to HSN, uh, early on in the year, they had a customer appreciation calendar. And because I was in isolation and lockdown, I was home every day. So what I'd done is I'd done a short live every single day opening each store. So that is my plan for throughout December. However, what you need to keep in mind, of course, is I'm not in isolation anymore. So I'm just trying to work around what will be live, what will be video, and just to incorporate it and work it in with uh, my workload here. He's been let out. It's like a bit, it's been like a lion in a cage, and now he's been let out to run rampant. Um, right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making myself laugh now. Uh, Melissa says, shout out to Craig. Thanks for a wonderful tutorial video on the pop-up box die. Your step-by-step -step saved my project. Brilliant, I'm glad. That's what we're all here for. This is the whole point of these shows as well. Of course, to get these incredible, ridiculous deals, or maybe you've got them, just come here for uh, the ideas, inspirations, and the tutorials. And Diana says, Craig, your desk Christmas tree is awesome. Have you got one at home? Have you I, been showing I, it off? 
I did. I, yeah, put it on Instagram uh, and Facebook yesterday. No, never this morning. Put it up this morning. Uh, oh, that's why I haven't seen it, you see, because I was on the way. I did the meeting on the way today. It was very, very exciting. On the road. Oh, what a glamorous lifestyle. Just say you, did, you were hands-free, though, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Just, I was, just hands-free, yeah. I, yeah. I was in a lay-by. <laughs> anyway. Wow, if you've just joined us, that's going to sound a bit weird, isn't it? I was in a lay-by. Anyway, uh, let's look next at some edibles, shall we? And they are Christmas edibles, which is really, really cool. Now, there's no reason for us to discount these in the way that we are, because uh, that Christmas moment has probably passed in terms of selling Christmas product, because you're already making and made most of your Christmas cards, I'm sure, already. So we should really just put these back in the, in the cupboard, in the vault, in the warehouse, and then say, right, okay, they're ready for summer next year when we're bringing the Christmas product out again. No, we, you know, because we're always bringing new, 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 new the whole time, we're discounting what we've already done. So, you ready for this? For £49.68 or $64.98, you're gonna get this one, which is Snow Flurry which is absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at that, how joyful that is. And remember, it's a double-sided dimensional die as well, which is superb. You also get in this bundle, the trio of trees. Now, I remember when we launched these and how popular all of these were, really, really popular. If you didn't get them at the time, now is the time to just top up your stash with them because they're absolutely brilliant and you will use them again and again and again. You also get the string of lights, which is beautiful, really, really lovely, just to make that extra something for the edge of your card. Something we've talked about all year long this year is baubles. And this is delightful decorations, gorgeous, gorgeous edgeable, um, which again will delight your cards and then we've got oh, this is probably probably one of Sarah's favorite images as you know because we've seen it a lot in Christmas product this year um, it's superb it's Santa in the sleigh it's magical it's the the layers of the houses as well you can create amazing dioramas with these so that one's dashing through the snow and then another iconic image which you've seen in quite a few different products this year um, is the Bethlehem skyline and it goes with so many of the other Christmas collections that we've had this year. Now, originally the discount on this one uh, was 25%. So we've taken another 15% just for Black Friday. And I know it's Sunday, but today is the end of our Black Friday um, deal. So take advantage. That would be, hang on, I'll just do the maths. 25, 30, 35, 40% off right now in this bundle to get those. That's awesome, Craig, isn't it? It's un unreal, unreal, it really is. Like you say as well, you know, some people maybe already got their Christmas uh, dies, although many will uh, be just looking, maybe because of things that are going on, you've just started to uh, come to crafting at the moment. So this is when it's really going to work great for you guys, you know, when you're just stocking up on some brand new double-sided dies. So I've showed you the tree, I've showed you the baubles, you also get the Christmas tree that Derek was uh, telling you about. You've got the baubles that you can see there, or as you guys state, so I'd say the ornaments, so once again, these are double-sided, which means that they cut twice on the front, on the back. And then for instance, this one enables you to create this scene. Or you can see on this one here, you've got another scene as well. But again, just don't think of your uh, one-dimensional one cards. Think about your easel cards and that as well that you can see they're layering upon each other. So these are all the sort of things that you can be creating and so much more on uh, the double-sided dies. Do you know, um, there are lots of lots and lots of love in the comments. I was listening to every word you were saying there, by the way. Um, uh, lots of love in the comments for your decking today, Craig. What have you done to your decking? Well, because, you know, during the year, again, when I was off, I uh, got the, my deck and done my back garden. So it was looking nice and summery. Summer's over, we're now winter, so I cleared any of the stuff I didn't need. And I've got a really nice, real, first time ever, I've got a real Christmas tree. And I've got it nicely set in my uh, sitting in my uh, deck and, or on my deck and got the lights. And I've even got baubles. And I have secured the baubles, so do not worry. You've secured them? Well, you know, so you know, some people will be like, you've put bubbles on an outside tree, they'll just fall off or blow away. Oh, so I made I sure I secured them. Right. Very, very important. Safety first. Um, are they glass bubbles or are they plastic bubbles? Uh, no, they are very, very, very inexpensive. Okay, that's bubbles. All right. Good. Um, Jean has just corrected me on something I said earlier. She said, "Oh, Derek, Harry Styles doesn't wrestle professionally." And Gina, 
Gina says, I used to live in Tampa and I ran into, um, she put Hunk Hogan, but I think she means Hulk. Um, she ran into him at a movie theatre once. Very nice man, apparently. There you mm. go. I bet you must have been on the deck if you ran into him. You would have Absolutely. fallen. Absolutely. Oh, those muscles and that. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Well, let us know. Who else have you met that's um, famous that you've bumped into? If it's a wrestler, Craig will be even more interested. Uh, right. Okay. Let's do some. <laughs> let's do some double-sided creator cards now. These are Christmas creator cards as well. I love these, and you get a bundle of. I think it's six in this one, isn't it? Yeah, massive, massive saving on this one. So you get pretty poinsettia. I'm going to get through these quite quickly because I think it's about time Craig did something. You know what I mean? Just stand there talking to us all day. Uh, we want to see some action, Craig. Um, oh, Little Town we've got, which is really, really beautiful. That's in the bundle. More festive ornaments. I love these. Cutting them in, cutting them out. You could use these freestyle as a background as well. How beautiful. You've got frosted woodland, which looks so good together with the wonderful, um, what's it called, that stuff that you kiss under? Mistletoe. Thank you very much, mistletoe, yes. There'll be none of that this year, will there? Be none of that this year, will there? What can you do? You can't do that with a mask on even, can you? No, that's not gonna work, is it? Oh, Christmas tree uh, is another one. Oh, blimey. Blimey, the Christmas this year is just not gonna be the same, is it? I've never kissed anyone under the mistletoe, have you? Like, I've been on this planet for, you know, 24 years, as I said <coughs> earlier. Uh, well, roughly 24. Um, and I don't think I've ever kissed anyone under the mistletoe. So I've never had that, uh, that experience. Whereas Craig, on the other hand... I was wondering where you were going to go with that one. No, no I, no, I, I haven't the rest either, with you. No, I haven't either. Haven't you, Craig? Oh. These ones are exactly. Twenty-one have never cards. been kissed under the mistletoe, Craig. Oh. Not under the mistletoe. Oh, Not dear. under the mistletoe. Anyway, so double got this. Create a card. So these are exactly <laughs> what you want when you want to make really, really quick but really funky Christmas cards because these do the different layers through one pass. So there was your uh, poinsettia. Then look at your net. Yeah, it's like your scene, your nativity scene there. So all these layers cut for you as well. Keep in mind everything I'm showing you, each layer that are die cut and just through one pass of your Gemini because the front as well as the back also die cuts at the same time. But then use your glitter card, your mirror card, your matte card. What about using some vellums to uh, actually make it a bit more frosty in the background? Same with your glitter cards too. But then you can see making your double larger cards as well. All of these and so much more. And don't forget, as I all we say afterwards there's so much on our YouTube that you can always go back and uh, get more ideas and inspiration from. There is much of it with your good self of course as well. Um, Trisha says, oh dear me Derek, Craig will tell you that you can't beat a sweet, uh, a bit of sweet chin music. Apparently you'll know what that means Craig. Oh I do. Something I, to do with I do Sean. Indeed. Sean who? Sean, Sean Michaels. Sean Michaels, that's it, yeah. So you just better watch or you might get a bit of sweet chin music yourself. Sweet chin music. Oh, is that a physical term? Mm -hmm. Oh, is it a move, is it's it? It's a move. Sweet chin music. Do you want to I'm see, not sure. you want to see sure. what it's about? I'm not sure you're allowed to get close enough for me to find out, Craig, actually, to be honest with you. I'm not sure I want any of your sweet chin anything right now. We've got a show to do. Um, in the meantime... <laughs> Let's look at some double-sided plates then. Now, we've put an interesting bundle together um, today for you, for your double-sided plates, because if you're putting your double-sided dies through your Gemini, you will need the double-sided plates. Now, you know that your junior plates will go through your big daddy Gemini. So you quite often see when um, Craig or Debbie or Sarah or any of our wonderful lovelies here are doing a demo, quite often for quickness, for speed, they'll put the junior plates through the larger Gemini. So we've put a bundle together which gives you one double-sided plate for the larger Gemini and one for the junior as well, because your junior plate will go through your larger machine as well. Both of those for just 21 pounds or $27, which is really, really good because of course, basically with these, you only, I, I know I say this and, and it's not strictly true, but because you use your, um, compared to your regular dies, your double-sided dies don't get used as much, it's probably something you only ever need to buy once, I dare say. Uh, 21 pounds, $27. Right, okay, enough chit chat from me. Time for some sweet chin, card making, I think, uh, with Craig. 
Let's go for it. So we're going to go right back to uh, the beginning. We're going to use the crate cards just to say with these ones as well. Please don't get these mixed up with your carbon plate for your foil press. They are different. So our double sided ones, you'll see at the bottom, it does say the Gemini at the bottom. They are different from the carbon plate. So these are extra, extra tough. As Derek says, these are nice and clean and new. These are our studio ones that they've just put new ones in. The original ones I've got, I've got two original small ones and I've got two original large ones. I've never replaced it and that's Honestly, I've never replaced them uh, since I since we started doing double-sided dice. These last so long, and you can tell that I use them quite a lot. So I uh, just want to let you know that these will uh, last for ages. So what you're going to need, whether it's the large Gemini or the Junior, you're going to need your two cutting plates. The metal shim isn't essential, but I do like to pop it in. I know Sarah does the same. So what we're going to do is let's use the star, um, I keep saying star explosion, it's the uh, stargazing for this one. And we're going to use our Centura Pearl. Now what you're going to see when it comes to the die, it's exactly that, it's double sided. So what's going to happen is it's going to cut both sides through one pass of the Gemini Junior. So on this side you've got just a, bit, a little bit less detail, so you've got the stars that die cut out. And then on this side you've got all that extra detail that does the die cutting. So what we're doing is I'm just taking a bit of peach and a bit of uh, our fuchsia centura pearl. So all that I just need to do is I just need to decide which side I want to be the real detailed side and what side I just want to have the stars. So let's go for the uh, fuchsia. So that's going to have all of this detail outline die cut. So we need to have our base cutting plate. We need to have one of our double sided die plates. So we're just going to pop that one on. So then it's your cardstock with your die on top. Don't worry about the excess part because it also die cuts out, stays uh, out within your uh, die. And then on this one, what we want to do is again, our next cardstock, coloured side down, well as it is, this is double sided. So place that one on. We are then going to then pop our next top plate on. Then at this point, this is where I like to put my metal shim in place. And then we're just going to pop our top plate on. Just feeding it through like you would usually do with your Gemini. So it's exactly the same if you use the, use the large Gemini. Cracking like that, just like if you're using your plates for the first time, using your uh, actual uh, tough plates for your double sided, you'll occasionally hear that crack. That's because it's, it's actually cutting into brand new plates. So you're absolutely fine, so you don't need to worry about that. It will leave these marks. Again, that's absolutely fine. We'd still uh, tell you to uh, flip and rotate these ones, but that is normal, so don't worry about that one. And Craig, just while you're at that stage, in the future, if you don't want that impression, to go on to future projects, what can you do to, to safeguard against that? Because I've got one or two questions along a similar vein. Right, yeah, well, because you're turning your cardstock over the other way, you won't really usually get any of the, the impression from your plate okay. onto this one. I think maybe what you, the question, I might be wrong, maybe sometimes what people are asking is sometimes the impression from the back of the double-sided die will uh, just start to uh, shine through. So it's just part of the detail within the die. So, you know, it is normal, cool. it is going to happen. And I do have a question here. It is a little bit detailed, but I think we'll tackle it now, shall we? Yeah, go for it. But you'll have to listen to this quite carefully, though. Okay. Uh, Craig says, right, what do we do if we're using a large Gemini with the double-sided pl plates and the die leaves a ridge in the card stock? She says, I'm using Centura Pearl and Gold Mirror Card. The top of the die and the side show the impression of the die onto the card stock. I tried using... Um, only the two double-sided plates, one clear plate and a plastic shim, as per Debbie Fisher's suggestion a, uh, a couple of months ago, it didn't cut, so that didn't work. Have you got any thoughts on that? So what we do, it sometimes happens, you get that impression, exactly what Debbie has said, doing it that way. What I would maybe then suggest, it's not cutting, then uh, maybe actually add in a few extra layers, or maybe, um, obviously I'm not sure exactly what other plates that you used instead. So maybe look to uh, take out one of the double-sided plates, uh, not double-sided plates, one of the top cutting plates, and replace it with maybe think something like your plastic shim, your magnetic shim as well. You're just, it's that kind of mediocre, just trying to reduce the actual pressure, but you want to have enough pressure as well. You will find a lot of the double-sided dies, the impressions that you get after are kind of normal, it's going to happen, but if you are having that problem, stick with what Debbie suggests and maybe just try adding a few extra shims here and there just to try and bulk out that pressure. Lovely, thank you very much. You're welcome. You are very welcome. And Cindy asked a question about whether we should flip plates, but you've addressed that already. Yes. Uh, in which case, yes. 
Whatever Sorry. plates you've got, always uh, try and uh, flip and rotate them each time. So now we have got these that have die cut just beautifully and then you are left with all of these stars that you can be using elsewhere. So whether you want to add them as little accents onto your cards and projects or whether you want to do shakers, you know, we know how we all love our shakers. Mm. But for the sake of this, I'm going to pop these ones out the way. Then what we're just going to do is let's use our double sided dotty tape runner and we're just going to layer these ones up. These are good if you've got your sprays, if you want to use them, or if you've got your double-sided adhesive sheets, then they're also good for uh, this, uh, these dies as well. All that you do is put your double-sided adhesive sheets on before you run them through your Gemini. Oh, make sure you've got it the right way so it lines up. And even though you've got those double-sided adhesive sheets on, the Gemini as well as the double-sided dies, they'll still cut, no problem. So if I press that one into place, then you can see how we've got, how that is starting to look, how you've got them, that you've got the outline of the fuchsia and then you've got that orange in the background or the peach. And then what I'm going to do is just on the back of this one, again with our dotty tape runner, we're just going to add our adhesive. So that's going to pop that grey cardstock and we're going to press it. So within this one here, you see the grey coming through, no matting layer, just through the back of the stars. And then I've also got a bit of black card where we can layer this one on, which will give us that matting layer. So Ooh. pop that one on. Rachel's um, just uh, made a very, very good point as well. Oh, it's Rachel. Uh, it's Rachel who's on our design team, I do believe. Um, who has said uh, the background double-sided dies make good stencils. They do well. indeed, yep. So yep. could you cut them out of acetate then as well to make that a little bit stronger? You could do. Uh, what you would still need to definitely do in that case is use your uh, metal shim. Yep. You'll definitely need that one. But yeah, you can cut them into acetate as well or even vellum. That works really well too. So try that. But really any double-sided die we've got or really any dies also work as good stencils because mm. once you take that die cut piece out and then you bring what is then going to be the negative can then be a positive as being the stencil so good isn't it because because quite often you think and i know quite a lot of people think in this way when you get a die and and, and i'm terrible at being rebellious in every respect of my life um when you get a die you just think well, I can't just cut it and use it as it is because it doesn't feel like I've kind of put anything of that, of myself into that. But there's so many different ways you can twist and turn and make it completely and utterly different. I mean, for a double-sided dial like this, for instance, if you were going to use that as a matte layer, Craig's put it down as one, as a double-sided die, but there's nothing to stop you cutting out a band in the middle and splitting that mat and layer and putting something else in the middle, big sentiment, big flower, big butterfly, whatever it might be. Well, actually, look, I, I didn't know that that was coming, that happy birthday, but that kind of illustrates, you could have cut a whole band out of the middle of that creator card, oh, shouldn't you? And then split the two and you've had a completely different look. So that could be your rebellious twist, but I, that, that I, I love. And as, Absolutely. I, as, yeah, that's beautiful. So I had obviously there was layers cut with the adhesive on them, but these double sided layers are cut in front of your eyes and then just uh, stuck them together. So, you know, that could be on an easel card, it could be on the front of a large card, an 8x8 card, anything like that. But of course, you know, start to cut into them as well. See other things that you can do. Um, Craig, I just had a, a little thought then. Um, well, first of all, Rhonda says, can we foil using the double-sided dies? No, you can't foil with them because then that means that you've got the double-sided die on both sides, which means you're going to cut into your heat plate, which you can't do. Right. Okay, thank you very much. Um, and I just had an idea, but it's gone out of my head. <laughs> uh, although I was going to say uh, the card that you just made, is that my birthday card? A bit belatedly late. How did you guess? See, I just, I just had that feeling. Sad that, but just because I wasn't here on the 10th. That's know, it, I know. Just completely, you know. Is that when you were last here, the 10th? No, no, I wasn't. That was my birthday. Oh, that was your birthday? Yeah, yeah, that was my birthday. Thanks for remembering that. See, well, it's the first time it's, it's come around on Craig's calendar as well, so it's easy forgotten, isn't it? But there you go. I haven't taken that personally. It's all fine. I mean, there's no, there's no, uh, oh, hang on. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is my present from Craig. Or maybe that's a Bonanza bag in Second Chance Sunday, maybe. With not me later, you've got Joe later, Joe and Craig. 
<laughs> Get yourself ready for that. Right, listen, um, when um, Craig was cutting out those double-sided dies, you know there was a lot of pieces to cut uh, to to then poke out again. Now I love doing it individually with my pokey tool and keeping all the bits to one side and paper piecing. But one of the quickest ways of getting through it is with the die brush tool, which is brilliant because it gets the you get the brush and you get the sponge underneath, which just takes that little bit of the pressure as well. This is brilliant. Now this bundle. Um, we thought we'd sold out completely and utterly, uh, to be honest with you, but there's a, just a small number of these remaining. Now, this is a great little bundle for £8.98 or $9.95 because you get the brush tool, you get the replacement brushes as well, which you'll, I mean, they'll last you a lifetime. I mean, I, listen, I can't predict how long you're going to live, but um, I think they'll probably outlive you, to be honest. Um, and with that bundle, you get the uh, all-purpose glue absolutely free of all charge as well oh look at that see i told you i had a crystal ball didn't i eight pounds 98 nine dollars 95 let's remind you of our edgeable uh, die bundle as well which is really really lovely this is amazing massive massive reduction on this one as well on the uh, edgeables these are really really cool so you're getting one two three four five six and originally we had a 25 percent discount on that we've discounted that by a further 15 percent for Black Friday, uh, even though it's Sunday, we're, it's the last day of Black Friday celebrations today. So take advantage of that. Forty-eight pounds, uh, sorry, forty-nine pounds sixty-eight or sixty-four dollars ninety-eight. Just a reminder, by the way, if you want to win a Black Gemini Junior, then you need to get onto the Crafters TV Facebook page right now. Look for the post with the Black uh, Gemini Junior. I didn't even know there was such a thing, but you can be winning it just by commenting on the post, which you'll find on our Crafters TV Facebook page. I thank you. Let's do an edgeable now, Craig, shall we? We will indeed. So we're going to use the snow flurry for this one. And then what I'm a way to create, what you could alternatively do is turn it into maybe like a name setting for your uh, Christmas dinner table or, you know, anything like that, maybe burnt in, anything like that. So what we're going to do to start with is I've just taken a piece of our white smooth cardstock, which is four and a quarter inches by four and a half inches. And then I've just taken a piece of uh, navy cardstock, which I've just done a quarter of an inch bigger all the way around. So five inches by four and three quarters. So what I'm going to do once again, just like I was saying before, is because it's double sided, you've got a real detailed side and you've got one with a little bit less detail. So what I want to do is this one with the less detail, so to speak, I want to have as um, the backdrop, which is going to be this navy colour cardstock. So you've got this kind of edge here. So this is what then uh, helps you to line it up. So I'm going to line it up towards the top. I'm not going over because this die cuts right along the edge that you can see there. There's no cutting edge along the bottom, which means it stays in place. So what I'm going to do with this one is you are able to tape it down because you've got these little edges here that doesn't actually cut, doesn't do anything. So you can uh, use some low tack tape to hold it down. So what I'm just going to do is just going to layer that one up and then we're just going to hold that in place. Once again, let's just layer it up just to make sure. So we just need to bring in our base cutting plate. And once again, we need to bring in our double sided plate. So what I'm then doing is going to pop that one on. And then we're going to then bring in our white cardstock. So that one can then just go over the top. So we're just going to line that one up to the top. So for this one, what I'm doing is I'm going to go right to the very top of the navy card. You can see just there on your screen. Let's just make sure I'm right up against the top. And then I can tape this one down there and then there. Don't worry about this excess bit of uh, dye. That's uh, going to really uh, work and enhance what we're just about to make, even though it's coming <coughs> off the page. Bring in our next top cut and plate. And then once again, just bring in our metal shim. I'm going to pop that one through and then I'm just going to run this through our large Gemini and what I'm just going to do is because uh, we're only doing it to the top of the plate we're just going to and there we go see we've got the Gemini there so that is saying that Craig you've got too many layers so on this one here is I don't need the metal shim for this one the layers between the cardstock that I'm using in the die is more than enough to do the cutting so what I was just about to say is once it makes that noise that it goes over, I'm just pausing it and then I'm going to reverse it. So if I do that reverse, if you're using your large Gemini, you can always still use your Gemini Junior double-sided cutting plates. You know, you can still use that with your large Gemini. 
So let's then take these ones away. And then if I then peel all of these ones off. So let's move all them to the side. And we're going to take these ones off. So if I take that, and now all of these bits have just come out nicely already. So that's going to be the backdrop. And then if we take this one off and carefully peel all these ones off. And we're going to get, if you're lucky enough, to grab hold of that tool set if you've not already got one. We're just going to work our tool in. And we're just going to take all these little bits out. Now the little bits that come out are little dots, little snowflakes. So keep a hold of them. They would come in really, really handy. So we're just going to just pop all these wee bits out. Taking these ones out, working our way along. Some of the wee bits you will just need to uh, pierce out. Uh, the die tool doesn't always get every bit out, but it gets most of them. But if you're like me and Derek and you find it quite therapeutic just to sit and pop them out, it's uh, a good thing to do. Take I these. love it. I think it's brilliant. I do as well. I, I do I'm as just, well. I, and I, I love, when I've used a die as well, you know, obviously do the die cut first and then go back to the die before you stick it back onto its, um, onto its carrier and make sure all the bits are out of that as well. It's like housekeeping, isn't it? I don't know, for some reason it feels satisfying to go, you know what? The knife goes in the knife drawer, the fork goes in the fork drawer, the spoon goes in the spoon drawer. It just feels organised, Craig, doesn't it? It does, yeah. And like you said as well, what I do is once I've used the die, if there is any little bits still in it, I always just poke them out before I put them back onto the carrier sheet. I don't like putting them back in when there's still bits in them. So I've just used my dotted tape runner on the back there. You can lift this up to add a little bit extra height if you wanted to. But all that I'm doing is I'm just going to lay that one up. Now the navy layer on the back, that then starts to create that shadow effect, that outline effect. And then once I'm happy, I'm just going to press them into place. Some of these, we're just going to pull them one in. And because we've done the mats and layers with the navy, you get that nice, fine, perfect mat and layer all the way around. So then what I would then just do is, if I bring this one in, I've already taken just the little small die cuts that I've taken and I've just put it's snow. So just using the alphabets, I've just die cut small letters and just done it's snow. And then using a shadow alphabet, I've die cut the word let, but I've actually used what would be the, uh, the waste piece, basically, the bits that come out the middle. And then I'm just going, uh, let's put it <clears throat> that way. Get it right, Craig. There we go. It's only <laughs> three letters, Craig. Know. This is hardly a Scrabble it. championship. There's three letters in this. <laughs> you can only make one word, I can't you, with yeah. those three letters? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can. <laughs> and I still struggle. <laughs> so I've um, just... just to let you know, by the way, I'll just pop into my little box for a second while Craig's sticking that. Um, on the details, I think, on the screen, the floral, floral collection we were calling Flower and it's actually called floral um, on the website. Anyway, floral, flower, potato, potato, dahlia, dahlia, and L-E. I wonder what the third letter to that word is. Let's see. Oh, it's a T. <laughs> Fancy that, Craig. <laughs> I know, funny that, eh? Imagine that being <coughs> that one. Let it snow. So, I hope it does this year. It'd be I really nice. So. Jeffrey was just saying from uh, New Hampshire that it's 31 degrees there at the moment, which sounds absolutely lovely. I've left, lost your... Oh, here it is. 32 degrees in New Hampshire today. Um, so they have some sun today. The weather prediction for the next three days, just in case you're in New Hampshire, I'll do the weather for you. Um, you get three days of rain and possibly a bit of snow at the end. So that'd be all right. I, I could do three days of rain to know that there was some snow on the way, Craig. Oh, I could. Yeah. I could as well. Imagine snow on your Christmas tree on the decking with its <gasps> with its Christmas baubles and everything. How elegant would that we'll look? We'll definitely see a picture of that if it ever happens, let me tell you. Well, wait, see, it'll probably, if it was to happen, it'll probably happen when I'm in Scotland for uh, for Christmas, but I'll maybe speak to my neighbours to see if they'll do it. But That's there really we go. Cool. So just creating 
that top bit there. So you can see what I meant earlier on is, you know, that could be a little table setting with someone's name. So you could do the same if you wanted to, but just using the two colors, just creating that little card that you could be sending out to people, you know, or anything like that. You know, if you die cut it using your nesting dies, you can have different names, so that's what could be bunting or table decoration, anything like so. Or don't forget, use your double-sided dies to create napkin rings around your napkins or your crackers, these different things as well. So many things that you can do with them. They are, they're absolutely beautiful. I love that. I love those letters as well. I think they're really, really cool. I think they're really, really nice. And they're the waste from the shadow alphabet. It is, yeah, that is the waste from these oh, ones. I love so, that. That's yeah. not a waste at all, it's is it? Not. That's a very, very good use of those, isn't it? I love good it. Good size as well. They are, they are brilliant. They, I was just thinking they would be good um, if someone's just learnt to drive. You could do a red L, couldn't you, for a learner driver. You That's what do. we do in the UK. I don't know if it's the same um, state side, but you could use that L for like, learning to drive, couldn't you? Um, Shadia says, uh, Derek, happy to and thrilled to see you. Are you hiding from us, your fans? Ah, oh, you're very, very sweet. I'm back all next Sunday. I'm just doing, I'm just doing a part-time Bob today, just doing the first show, because there's something rather special happening, of course, later on in the day, isn't there? Um, so you've got Craig and Joe this afternoon um, at four o'clock. Let me remind myself of the times. Four o'clock, so it's 11 o'clock on the East Coast, 8 a.m. on the West Coast. Um, and then at 3 p.m. on the East Coast, on our Crafters Companion US page, you've got a warehouse clearance coming. I know, I know. You should see the deals in that. Um, Liam, Liam who made Brenda, you know, spray booth Brenda, is sorting out everything for the US warehouse clearance. And I tell you what, huh, aren't you the lucky ones? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not allowed to drop any hints as to what might be in there, but you can go and have a look right now on the website if you like. Um, on the US website, of course, that would be crafterscompanion.com if you are stateside. Right, let's look at your edgeable collections then. Remember, there is a multi-buy available on these Christmas edgeables as well. Two for £16 or $21, I think it, I think it is, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, it has, wow, on a Sunday morning. Let's have a look through them then, shall we? There's first of all the one that Craig was using there, which is the Snow Flurry, which is beautiful. Um, so you've got the Let It Snow that Craig just made, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I was just uh, reminding myself there. This one goes quite nicely with my shirt today, actually, funnily enough, doesn't it? Because my shirt is full of trees. It's Trio of Trees. Um, that's also in the bundle if you're going for that £49.68 or $64.98. You've also got String of Lights, which is so, so cool. Think of all the different ways you could colour up all the different lights. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? You could do that with, uh, well, with everything. All of your colouring mediums you could do, including your new glitter markers, I'm sure. Um, next up is your delightful decorations. That's in the bundle as well, which is gorgeous. Love, love, love that. I love, again, all the detail you can get into these baubles. You can cut them in, cut them out, use them as stencils. Um, I just think they're awesome. Then you've got dashing through the snow. Again, that iconic image. For me, my favourite part of that, and I know Sarah's favourite part, of that as well is that sleigh and Santa there because you can really bring that to life mm -hmm. and then you've also got the Bethlehem skyline massive massive saving on that bundle by the way originally it was 25% discount now we've taken another 15% discount off so that's 35% discount off those and they're a relatively recent launch as well to take over a third of that price tag off is pretty awesome don't you think for edibles it's really really cool um, next up i want to show you the florals the florals are so so cute really really lovely let me walk you through those um, because again it's a lovely lovely selection so it's a different bundle a massive massive reduction um, in price tag on these florals as well you lucky lucky people um, this is really really good so you've got the cosmos which is beautiful again do that in lots and lots of different colours as well if you want to. You've got the Dahlia Dahlia, which is lovely. You have the Peony, which is the big, big blousy rose. You've got the classic English rose and you've got your sprigs and blossoms there as well. All of that for £28.50 or $38.95. And that is a 70% saving. I mean, the best price we've done is a 65% saving. Today, though, for the end of Black Friday, the last day of Black Friday um, deals and sales, 70% um, off, which is absolutely marvellous. Right, okay, Craig, or what are we doing this time? Are we changing direction? 
we are we're going to use the rose for this one um but we're not going to do a traditional you know red rose pink rose or you know white rose even we're going to go for more of an orangey autumn kind of feel to it so once again exactly the same we just need our two cutting plates and our two double-sided cutting plates and these are going to be absolutely perfect like i was saying earlier on for your bit box so these ones i'm just using our 8x8 texture cardstock for these so if i take to create one rose head you're just going to take two of the dies so you've got the actual uh, ones through the leaves as well we'll do that in a moment so when it comes to the rose the rose is my favorite out of all of them so this one here you've got a full background here so that lets me know that's going to be the first layer of the dye so that's going to be the orange then this next layer here that is then going to be a slightly lighter orange so that's going to then cut a little bit more detail then we're just coming on to this back one so you just need to work out there's a little bit more detail a little bit less on that one so that just lets me know that this side here is going to be my next layer and then this one with all the fine line detail is going to be my top layer so I want to have a lighter one now I could have a wee play about and then bring in the leaves with this one as well we'll just do it separately of course if you're using the larger plates you'll easily get all of them on so we're just going to run this one through we're just going to pop them through so in case anyone does ask or anyone is thinking you do need your large gemini or your uh, daddy gemini you can't use your junior or your go or your midi because you need to have these uh, plates to work in conjunction but i know many of you already now have got our large gemini or our junior so we're going to take that first layer off as so there's the back layer of the rows so then we can take this next layer so if I then take these a few of them have got little uh, points that you can pop your tool through and we can see so we've got that layer starting to come through so a little bit more detail there so that can go at the side and then what we can do is bring in a next layer which is going to be this one so then what we can do is just poke all these little bits out this is then going to be the next layer that's then going to go on top so we can see there so we've got a little bit less detail and then if we bring this top one which is the lightest one that's got even less detail that you can see there so that can be the next layer so then what i'm going to do is set that one to the side for the time being and we can then just bring in some of our uh, green cardstock which is also from our texture cardstock so let's bring in two shades of green so for the back layer which is then just going to give you that full solid leaf i'm going to do in this darker green and then for the detail of the leaves i'm going to do in this slightly lighter green so we can just pop that one on so again let's just pop that towards the top notice with these ones as well i haven't used the metal plates because there's no need for these ones tend to just use the metal plate for things like our double-sided dies our big creator card dies run these ones through that's then going to cut up two layers so if i use my larger plates or i really um, managed to just squidge all these ones on that would have been a full rose and its foliage die cut within one pass of the gemini you know it's taken two passes because i've done the leaves and the rose separately so this goes to show that they're double-sided but how quick you can then make your cards or your project or at least the decoration for them but we're talking about stencils earlier on you know that would be a really good leaf stencil that you could be using for your backgrounds and your projects take these ones and it. then they will go I think they're brilliant i love the different colors it's nice to have it tonal isn't it yeah um, just for a little bit of uh, variation i'm just going through all the comments craig there's loads and loads and loads of you um chatting away today um jacqueline says and you'll be able to confirm or not whether this is true um well it must be because jacqueline says it is um and she said it on facebook so it really must be uh, she said i just found out if your gemini machine jams you can get your plates to come back out again if you press the middle button for eight seconds yeah the pause uh, pause and play button yeah so and if your machine jams or it sticks your plates stick in you just press that middle button for yep eight, eight seconds. seconds and then it pops them back out again yeah. that's good because i can imagine having that hot stopping moment it hasn't happened to me yet thus far touch wood um but but where you 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 sort of go white and you think oh no that's it that's it i've finished off my gemini that's it it's done it's done but no just give that a shot just press those buttons and then that will then start to do the reverse feed 
Fabulous. Um, we are um, we are going to show you. Sorry, Craig. No, you carry on with what you're doing because I can see you're you're holding in midair to show us something. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. I just wanted to explain, Derek, just in case maybe sometimes you find it difficult where to line some of these up. Always just look for a feature point. So with the rows, I always look at this point bit that there is on the rows, and I just match that one up to each individual layer. So I can see on this base layer, there's that same little point just there. So all that I'm just going to do then is just match that up. And I'm just going to do that with every layer that I'm away to pop into place. Now, um, you might be able to help Susan Craig, actually, while you're doing this, because she says, uh, she says, I'm going to have to go back and watch Leanne for the sandwich to send the double sided dies through the MIDI. So actually, maybe you could help Susan with that right now. So what would be the plate combination for the MIDI? For the MIDI, well, like I just explained a moment ago, and I will be completely honest with you, I did not know we could put it through the MIDI. That's something that even oh, I've learned today. Okay. Um, so uh, that's something that I will need to go back and have a look at as well. Because as oh, far okay. as I'm aware, we need our Gemini plates and our uh, actual rough, strong plates. So did not know that, but I'm we will check. Do you know at the moment, I am still sitting on my hands um, over the MIDI. I've still managed to resist thus far. Although I did have a delivery yesterday of some uh, letter stamps and some glitter markers. So I'm sure it won't be long before a MIDI comes my way as well, because I love the mini. And, and I always, you know when you go, and go to put a die through the mini and you realise the die won't fit, you're like, oh, oh, I'm going to have to go through the, through the, the plates thing, uh, which is fine, which is absolutely fine, but you just think, if I had a midi here, especially if it's the middle of the night and I'm crafting quietly upstairs at 3 a.m. in the morning, which does happen quite often at the moment, this lockdown thing sends the old sleep pattern to, um, well, to, to everywhere, doesn't it? <laughs> it's just never right at the moment, isn't it? I can't sleep at the right times at the moment. It's bizarre, Craig. It's so bizarre, isn't it? It just throws your sleeping all out. And then, like I say, it just means that you end up crafting. Maybe sometimes at times that you wouldn't usually maybe craft at. I know there's so many of you that do craft at, you know, midnight, one, two, three, four in the morning. I know I sometimes do as well. But yeah, the actual uh, sleeping pattern just gets uh, thrown all out the window. Just quickly, um, Craig, this will help all of us actually. Um, Carol Ann's just said on the uh, Facebook page that Leanne did a demo on the either the 14th or the 15th of November on Craft House, testing if you could put the double-sided dies through the MIDI and all the pros and cons of doing so. So you're looking for either the 14th or the 15th of November on our YouTube um, page, and you'll find the uh, the video there. And it was Craft House with Leanne where she um, goes through. Oh, uh, Renee. Um, has just added some more detail. You're so good. You're amazing. You know more than we do. It's great. I love this. Um, Rene says, Sarah explained that you could pass um, through the MIDI with the cutting plates. Um, she says, I have some on order for my MIDI. So I guess you would use the, you would get the double sided cutting plates for the junior for the MIDI, would you, Craig? Or could you get the full size? No, no, you would need definitely need your junior, junior. plates because uh, junior. the larger ones are far too big to yeah. go through your midi. So okay. uh, perfect. It's like you said as well. Sometimes there's things that we don't uh, come across. I obviously never seen that episode of Craft House with Leanne, and we can always count on you guys to help us out as well. You're amazing. Um, Rosalind, um, sorry, Rosalind, I missed the first time you asked this question. I didn't want to interrupt uh, Craig while he was in uh, mid-flow, but, but now I don't care and I am. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I will ask now, you've asked again. Um, can you cut foam with these double-sided dies, Craig? You can do. Yeah, you can cut foam. Yep, no problem at all. Um, there's very little really that you can't uh, can't cut. If your normal dies will cut it, then these will, because they are just dies, except that they're double sided. So yeah, give that a shot; it'll be no problem. It I, will work. I'm cutting everything out of foam at the moment. I just I just love it. I just love how it feels, and I love how it sticks, and I love the different things that you can do with it and throw at it. You can glue on top of it. You can glitter on top of it. You know, the only thing you can't really do. Well, I speak. You can heat it, but it then that distorts obviously the shape, which is fine if you're making flowers, uh, but not if you're making a detailed die. The, the voice of experience speaking here, you have to, see I make the mistake so you don't have to. <laughs> oh, we're always here. We are always here to that's, help. That's, that's true. But if you could just come round every now and again and just prevent me from making, just what I need Craig really is for you to be sat in the room and to say, no, don't do that. 
Why? Your card making's coming on incredibly it's, it's, well. It's getting there. I have to say, I am loving it. I'm genuinely surprising. We, we were talking about this before we came on. I'm genuinely, I have surprised myself. Really? Completely and utterly that I can make cards or have made cards. Whether I can or not is another thing. Of course you thing. can. Um, if you want to have a look and you haven't so far, I feel this is a timely uh, moment to give my own Facebook page uh, a little bit of a plug. Uh, I am Derek Marks Crafter's Companion if you want to have a look at my efforts thus far, including the Christmas, what I'm now calling the Tree Pea, um, which is a teepee card which I've made into a three-sided Christmas tree uh, with a full, well, I was going to say demo, with a video of it. Look at that, that's not far off a teepee look either, is it, Craig? So it's just one of our little gift boxes that you'll find on, uh, that you can do with the uh, Ultimate Pro. So if you've got the CD or the actual USB, but it's just doing a bit of decoration as well. But then the flower is the actual decoration for it as well. So you can see how you've got all that layer. Depending on the colour card that you use, it does the shadowing for you. You, sir, are amazing. I love it. Now, what are you home making that you're going to put in there and gift? Because, I mean, I brought a cake in today. You have. I, uh, I actually have got stuff in the kitchen ready to do some mince pies. Oh! I have. Are they boozy mince pies, Craig? It, it is a jar that has been shot bought because I've not had a chance to do my own mince pies. I'll say that, I've not actually tried it before. Uh, but the pastry, it's always done by hand. And is it that shop you used to work for that you got it from? It may very well be. <laughs> very I good. Very well. I'm very pleased to hear Support Tis British stores. Absolutely. Uh, other stores are available, even though we didn't mention the name of the uh, of the good name of co-op. Yes. Um, other stores are available. Right, now, a lot of people are asking how to enter this competition to win a Black Gemini Junior. So we're going to show you the Facebook page right now, which has the post on it. I'm going to quickly go and grab my cake as well, so just I can show off my cake. Let's have a look. Let. Oh, hang on. We're, we're, we're having a little little moment. We're getting the Facebook page for you because the post to win the Black Gemini is like, is quite a way down. But you will see, here it is. There you go. If you scroll down, you will find the, uh, the post which starts, it's time for a Black Friday giveaway. Um, and it has the picture of the Black Gemini Junior. So if you would like your chance to win that, all you need to do is comment on that post and the competition closes tonight uh, at UK 11.59, so just before midnight here in the UK, um, that competition will close tonight and then we'll announce a winner. I tell you what, we all want to win that. It looks so cute, doesn't it? Really, really nice. Love it. Right, okay, let's look at your topper collection which is lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, five different topper dies, which are all double-sided. So again, you get those, the in, the out, the using them all together, being rebellious, making them backgrounds. You can do all sorts. You can use the aperture in this one for lovely baby photos or couple photos or whatever it might be. Very, very nice indeed. So in this, you get all of my heart. You get the... Floral mandala, which I love. I love mandalas. There's something about it. Um, we used to have a thing. Well, I don't know if it's still around. What was it called? Um, was it called gyros? No, not gyroscope. What was it? Thing? What was that thing where you put a pencil in and you went round and round and round? Spy and made... Spiroscope. Spirograph. 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 Other toys were available. Um, I don't know if you can still get it now, where it sort of made a mandala with a pen and pencil. Are they still available? Oh, that'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? I'd go... Actually, we should make a, a Spirograph die. What would be the... Yes, you could, couldn't you? You could have the aperture as a die that you then drew inside and went round and round and round. There must be a way of doing that. Anyway, um, next up is your Pretty Posy, which is very, very cute and very, very floral and not unlike a mandala too, isn't it? Beautiful, but you can see it's got that extra floral detail. Um, all of the way through it. Then we've got some others as well. We've got, this is one of my favourites. I think this is beautiful and I don't have the actual, um, the board for this one. But this is Floral Delights. Which one are you doing next, Craig? I'm doing your favourite one, the mandala. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah, fantastic. Indeed. Oh, really, yes. really good. Um, Floral Delights, I love. I think it's really, really cute. And there's one more to show you and that is Sweet Cupcake. And while Craig does this next demonstration, I'm going to, um, I made a massive, huge Rocky Road cake and I'm going to bring it in just to show it off. 
I'm showing off my baking skills. See, I can bake and card make. See, I'm going to make someone a lovely wife one day, Craig. You will, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> so what should, what, should, what should we do next then? Should we just hang that thought in the air or should we make another card? We are going to use uh, this topper one and they're called topper. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. We are using this topper one because it's exactly that. They go on the top of your cake or your project. So this one, we're going to go very monochromatic for this one. On your so, cake? Uh, not on my cake, no. You said cake. Did I? Yeah. Oh. You're going to put it on top of your cake. You no. could actually you can get edible rice paper, so you I mean can. that is possible. You isn't can. It? Yeah, you can do it. If you do do anything like that, do make sure that you have a, a separate plate system for yes, uh, that's anything that's food edible. Safe. Um but yeah, you could do. Why not? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do it like we have been doing, base cutting plate with our top cutting plate for this one. And I have brought some of our uh, well, I, I was about to say twelve by twelve. Obviously this isn't twelve by twelve, but it's from our twelve by twelve card bundle. So I've taken some black and then some white, and then we're gonna bring in the floral mandala. So just like before, we're just gonna take this base one, which the cutting edge is just round all the edge, which lets me know that this is the base. So for this one, let's do it in white, and then the next layer. What we're going to do is we're going to do that one in black and then we're going to take in this next one and then actually no i think we'll go let's go i'm trying to think so if i do i'm trying to decide if i want to change it to because i've got one you can see just here i want to see if i can change the look let's just go black let's do that we'll do it this way so going to do the base layer is going to be white then the next layer up we'll do it in black and then the next layer down. So as you can see here, this one you might think, well, what one's going to be top, what's going to be in the bottom? So the next one with all the detail, that'll be your third layer. So that can go over the top there. And then let's go another black layer at the top. And I'm trying to do this opposite to what I've done with the one already finished to show a different look. Top cut and plate, top Gemini plate. And then we're just going to run that one through as well. So these are really nice ones. So you can, of course, uh, assemble all these layers together. Use them separately if you want to. And then what about colouring in the layers or sticking individual layers onto things like your acetate and then colouring them in with your marker pens or your glue gels or glitter glue gels, anything like that. That would look really quite effective. So let's take the first layer. So if we take this one, and then there is going to be the base layer of your mandala, you can see there. Nice to maybe just pop a little sentiment in the middle or a, a, a name again. I say bunting quite a lot, but that would be quite good if you do several of these as bunting and then initials in each one. Oh, bunting, sorry. Bunting. I wonder what you were saying then as well. I, I, was, I, I was thinking you were saying burnt in, oh. like as in like py pyrography. Pyrography, no. Like with a soldering iron or whatever. Yeah, uh -huh. And you mean bunting as bunting. in flags, isn't yeah. it? We'll bunting. put subtitles up later, Some, I think, Sometimes I do, eh? Yeah. Sometimes Craig I do. Um, Craig, got, <laughs> got that lovely accent, though. It's very, very nice. Very easy to listen to. Um, could you use the 3D glue to uh, shape and add dimension similar to decoupage, Craig? You could do. Yeah, there's... I don't know if I have... I had done, originally, it's not here. So originally I had done this demo uh, on a previous show. I can't remember what one it is, but we've done this one and the rows, because some of these layers have got a bit of uh, depth to them or width to them, I popped little foam pads on the back. You and didn't. Then I did. I you know. not foam pads, uh, Craig, yes, surely. I did, I indeed. thought you were very averse to using foam pads. Um, <laughs> But yeah, use glue you gel could instead use your if you want. 3D gel. Yeah. yeah, you could do, no yeah. problem at all. So if you have got uh, larger areas where you could pop foam pads or glue gel, absolutely. These ones that you would see, so this one here, so there's our base layer, there's our next layer. Now you could potentially pop foam pads around here or glue gel. So you're just looking where you've got enough space to pop some uh, gel or foam, then yeah, of course what, you can. What, what, what will you use, Craig? Though? I'm That's just going to keep it all one dimensional oh, for yeah. this one. Okay. But yeah, we can go for it if you want. And also to see with these ones, what you'll get is you'll get a couple of die cut circles that you don't actually need for these ones. And again, these are good just to handy to have in your stash as well. You could make a, um, what's that game you play with white and black counters? Oh, Connect Four or Chip, yeah. No. Um, Loot, the one where you jump out, drafts, that's the one, isn't it? Yes, where you jump over the other and you take their bits. 
I suppose you... Connect 4, you would need to like make a, an actual machine oh, or something, Oh, yeah, that would take you? forever, Craig, wouldn't it? Talking of um, uh, board games, have you been watching The Queen's Gambit? No, I've not. It's all about chess. Is it? Anyone been watching that? I think it's a Netflix thing. Other services are available. It's very good. Even though you think, oh, it's about chess. If you're not a chess player, you'll instantly go, oh. Uh, but are you, are you not a chess player, Craig? No. No. no I, can, I never wanted to. I never, even now. But that series is, I have to say, intriguingly good. Hmm. No, I've never, uh, I've, I've seen it. I've seen adverts for it, but I've never actually yeah, sat and watched it. Good. Well, well, now I'm out of the crown because that, that's all done now. Bake Off's finished. It's like, well, you know, what is there? What is there, Craig, now? There's, there's not much at the moment. There's not we've, much, is there, at all? We've just, uh, we're now on to Christmas films. We've, we've only got a week left of I'm a Celebrity and then it's uh, be all Christmas films because there'll be yeah, nothing else see, I'm on. Not, I'm not a, an I'm a Celebrity fan. I think you should be on it. You'd be great on no, it. No, I'd be awful. I couldn't be eating those things. I, 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 even the sight of a maggot makes me run for the hill. Yeah, see, I'm not good with creepy crawlies. No. And, and as for cockroaches, no. Uh, uh, no, thank you. I mean, there's a couple in it just now that hate all these things. I'm sorry, you know what the show's about. Why, why, why go into shows like that when uh, Craig, you... Craig, let me tell you, it's one word. Well, money. Money. True. Filthy lucre. If someone was offering to pay off your entire mortgage by sitting in a bath full of baked beans and maggots for a week, you'd do it. Yeah, true. <laughs> well, you do it. You do it for a tenner. <laughs> I'd, I'd do it for the publicity. Of course you would. You do it for the Instagram followers. <laughs> <laughs> Not that bad. Uh, no. Yeah, there's uh, certainly other uh, reality shows I would rather do than I'm a celeb. What, which would be your first choice? If, if they've still done it, yeah. it would be Big Brother. Oh, yeah, that's good, be, yeah. You get but, a few weeks of having to do nothing and getting paid for it there. That'd be great. The Wouldn't reason it just I... Gossip and slag people off. The Amazing. reason I always want to but do Big Brother is because, and, you know, this is a, a genuine reason, a heartfelt reason, yeah. is before I joined Crafter's Companion, believe yeah. it or not, I didn't have a lot of confidence. I didn't like going, I didn't like travelling places, I didn't like going any place. Yeah. So I always thought going into the Big Brother house with people that I didn't know yeah. in a surrounding area that I didn't know, I, I would struggle, but I wanted to overcome that. Whereas now, the confidence that being with Crafter's Companions, you've seen me, you know, yeah. I'm travelling about when, uh, you know, when um, what's going on isn't going on, yeah. and doing these lives and that has given me so much confidence. So I would actually find that easier, I think, now. But that's why I always want to do Big Brother. And do you know what? Half the, half the thing as well of that is the fact that there's such a, a massive wealth of like completely and utterly supportive kind of network around us as well so you're also also lovely like when you're talking about confidence i've just started making cards and i've made a few and, and and i've kind of thought oh i don't know if they're any good but i'll put them out there anyway and see what people think and you've been so so kind and it does it makes a huge difference crafting does make a huge difference to confidence overall doesn't it oh it does absolutely and you know in all seriousness no Derek, you know, you need to stop saying things like that because what you've been making has is honestly is so it's it's so good to see, but it's so inspiring as well for others to see as well. Because as you said, you weren't a paper crafter before you joined us at Never. Crafters Companion. Never. By doing what you're doing, you're seeing it, you're inspired by us, and yep. everyone else has now been inspired by what you're making. So it's so good to see. But look at that one there with the oh, I uh, love it. floral mandala that you would think, if I just lean over and see if I've got one that's all nicely coloured, let's, let's go for this one that I showed you earlier on. So you can go, that's not even it, is it? That's not it, let's go for, let's go for that one. So one that's maybe blue tones, of course, you could be doing your bright colours, your pastel colours, anything like that. But then why not just go all monochromatic? The one I'd done before, it's exactly the same layers of colour I use. However, I just changed the black and white alternative layers. Then just to make a card, let's just use, let's pop this one on a foam pad while we can. And just using black and white layers of cardstock, this one is uh, four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So the black layer is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. White layer, Centura Peril, is just coming down a quarter of an inch increments. And then again, I've got my top layer, which is six and a quarter inches 
of the black layer and then the white layer and then the Centura Pearl layer is also just coming down a quarter of an inch increments using my guillotine. And what have you got in the corners there, Craig? These are just black gems oh, that I uh, have at home. Yep, black gems. And then what I'm just going to do is if I take these layers off. And what I've done, if you've seen, uh, I think it was last week, myself and Ben, we had the fancy fonts. So I've just brought in thanks, so you can see just there. And then let's just add just a tiny little bit of adhesive. And then we can then position it at the bottom. If you use this in a different color, that could go, a cr actually, I am. I'm going to pop that because the white stands out against the black. So we can see there we've got a very monochromatic look when it comes to the floral mandala. It's so good. It's so beautiful. And, and it's such a massive, massive saving on those. And people say as well that black and white, you know, it's, it's, you, you need to throw lots of colour at everything. You really don't. No. Um, just a very, very quick look at my Rocky Road cake. Now, this is to keep the team going. I made this last night. Um, Nadia Hussein, who's a very famous baker here, I copied it from her book. I know normally you make either chocolate cake or Rocky Road. Well, I decided to combine the two. So that's to keep the team going because it's a very, very long day here at Crafters Companion today uh, because Craig and Joe have another show later, of course, which is Second Chance Sunday. I have no idea what's in that, but I'll give you some clues uh, as soon as I possibly can. But I think it's going to be a little bit of a wrap up of everything from Black Friday week that's still in stock because so much has sold out. It's been absolutely bonkers. Remember, today is the last day of Black Friday savings as well, up to 70% saving. You owe it to yourself right now to go and have a look through the selection. And then, of course, stateside at 3 o'clock Eastern time, you have got the most spectacular three-hour warehouse clearance event and I have seen our Liam preparing in studio two all of the product that is going into that warehouse clearance with Joe and Sarah 3 p.m. Eastern time but let's not forget Jake as well oh and Jake yes. Jake as well very yeah. very busy very very yes it is needed we've needed extra people here today as well so it's gonna be a three-hour spectacular you can see a preview right now on the Crafters Companion US page. I shouldn't tell you that, but I have, because it's Black Friday. Right, what was I going to remind you of, Johnny? Sorry, Christmas Creator Cards, because they are absolutely incredible. And you get five of them for a massive, massive discount as well. They're so, so beautiful. I picked up the wrong ones. That's not those. It'll be these down here. Yes, it's the Creator Cards, isn't it? Um, these are gorgeous, really, really beautiful. And if I get them the right way up, that'll be even better. Right, let's start with Pretty Poinsettia. That went well, didn't it? That went well. Let's hope management not watching right now. Uh, Pretty Poinsettia is your first one. Now, I love Poinsettia. Um, beautiful. And again, this is just cut out in black and white in monochrome. But imagine adding the colour, adding the genuine colours to those as well. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Throwing all of your colouring mediums at them. You've got O Little Town, which again is an awesome awesome scene and look at all of the actually if you decide not to use the elements here you've got them for so many different things as well but coloring in see this is for me like coloring in detail like getting all the lights in the building and decorating and coloring that's going to be awesome fun then we've got festive ornaments this is one of the most flexible of these double-sided dies as well because you could you could you can just use either the outline and create your own festive ornaments or you can take these and leave them in midair. I quite like them in midair like that. I think it's really, really cool. Too. It's and really, really nice. That middle one you showed there, colouring in. Yeah. I'd love to just colour that in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you've got Frosted frosted Woodland, which is gorgeous. This is the one with the uh, mistletoe. Uh, apparently somebody, somebody said to me earlier, it's, you know, it's no loss mistletoe because the berries are poisonous, apparently. I mean, not that you'd ever, you know, eat them anyway. Mm. You just... Mistletoe is just for kissing under, isn't it, apparently? But not this year. Um, there's another thing we can't do this year. Oh, darn. Uh, oh, Christmas tree. Again, this is awesome because it's like three completely different looks from one double-sided die, isn't it? I love it. It's really, really cool. And then you've got your snowflake kisses there as well. All five of those, £95.58 uh, or $114.00. 
and 70 pence, which is incredible. I have to say, and no one's paying that price either. That's all been reduced anyway in the Black Friday sale, but no one's really paying that price either because with your Club Inspire discount, log in and find out how much smaller that price becomes for you as well, particularly if you're a Platinum member, which I know lots of you are several times over. Right, let's have a look at the individuals on these as well because We've actually got a two for $32, uh, sorry, £32 or $38 on these as well. They are so, so cool, really, really good. So, so versatile, massive, massive reduction as well. So you've got pretty poinsettia. You've got, oh, little town, uh, which is lovely. I can't sing any more of that because I'll have to write somebody a check. I didn't even um, know that was a song you were singing. You can go off people, you know. Uh, festive ornaments, which is lovely. You've got festive uh, frosted woodland, which is absolutely beautiful with the um, mistletoe in the background. Mistletoe and wine. That's it, we've done them all now, haven't we? Uh, $24.99 or $29.99, but get two for £32 or $38. I thought we'd missed one. Oh, Christmas tree. And there's also Craig's favourite, snowflake kisses. One day, out on the decking, one year, Craig, out on the decking, snow is falling, your tree in the background, your mistletoe in the air, I can see it now. You and the future. You and the future. Let's just leave it as you and the future. <sighs> right, um, so are we gonna do one of these now, Craig? We are indeed. We're going to create a box. Was it say card? We're going to you uh, create a card. No, we're not. Start that again, Craig. Rewind. We're going to create a box using the snowflake kisses. Create a card. So what we're going to do with this one, you'll have seen uh, right here. I've just uh, jumped over to my large Gemini for this one. You can, of course, as uh, Sarah always does, use the Gemini Junior plates to go in with the large one. I do like to just, I, I don't know why, I like to use my Gemini Junior plates for my Gemini and my large Gemini plates for my large Gemini. It's just the way that I uh, like to do that one. The way Craig rolls. Yep, absolutely. Right plates, right machine. It's, yeah, it's just, I don't know why, like, there's nothing wrong with uh, doing it the other way around. It's just uh, the way I like to do it. Now, we've got our large Gemini plates, so you can still use your A5 plates if you wanted to, because that can then just sit, uh, be situated like so. But again, just because I like to use the right plates for the right machine, what we're doing is we're just bringing in the A4 plates that you can see here. So we've got our plate on in place. So what I'm going to do is I've just taken some of my uh, satin purple card from our luxury card set and just a bit of our white smooth stamping card. We've got our background die. So you can see this one here. So this side here has got all the detail of the snowflakes within these. And then on the back, you've got a bit less detail. So therefore, the bit with the less detail, I want to have in that purple. And then with the more detail, I want to have with my white card. So we've got that on, and then what we're going to do is we're going to place that over the top, just to say it as well. So I like to have my dies fit this way, because it just means there's less cutting points for the machine to go across. If I have it that way, it just means that the machine is having to put all its pressure on more cutting points all the way along. So that's why I like to do it that way. And for an extra few seconds, it makes no difference to me. It does when you're on TV, but you know we'll still go with doing it this way. So we're just going to pop that one on with our top plate. And again, let's just bring in our uh, top cutting plate again. Exactly the same. We're just going to run that one through. So this time what I will do is I'll not pause and reverse it. I'll just let it go through just so you can see how well that it die cuts. We're going to get one layer that's going to be a little bit bitty, so to say, the purple layer. But then when you put the snowflake layer on top, then that is when it's going to come to life. Although, as Derek was saying, use the snowflake layer on its own if you wanted to, mm. or, you know, start to colour it in. That would look even nice as well. So we're just going to take these ones out and then just see how these all pop out into place. Craig, get your tool out. That's exactly what I'm just the way to do. So we're going to get that one out. Excellent bundle if you, want to, uh, if you want to get your tool today. Uh, it comes with the replacement brushes and it comes with a free bottle of all-purpose glue as well. So you definitely want to get that little bundle um, today. Um, 
Oh yes, it's down at the bottom of the screen there, sorry. I was reading it, I was thinking, double-sided die. It's because it said double-sided die that, it, that it, it threw my brain off. But that tool bundle at the bottom of the screen, right the way down past Craig, um, is your, your brush tool with its foam um, mat underneath. Three replacement um, brushes. I don't know why I'm demonstrating like this as well in my little box. And you get a free bottle of all-purpose glue um, as well, which is brilliant. It's the Kalal. It's really cool. I love it. I'm going to give you a bit of a tip with the tool. And this is one that I actually found out. So I thought maybe uh, many will uh, be exactly the same or think the same. So with my one, when I replaced mine, my one, the, the little bits didn't come out of my one. But what seemed to happen is it wasn't pushing all the little bits out as much. And what was happening, all of these brush heads, you want them to be straight. You want them to be straight so they're pushing into the die cut pieces. Mm -hmm. What mine was doing over time, because I was using it so much, the edges were curling over themselves. Ah, OK, yeah, So they yeah, were yeah. curling over. So, so it was just rolling over the top. Exactly, yeah, yeah, just yeah. rolling over the top. So don't think just because all the brush heads are in place that you mm -hmm. don't need to replace them. Trust me, each one lasts you a long time. Mm -hmm. But have a look. If you think it's not pushing out all these little bits, then try replacing it because you want all these brushes to be really straight. So just uh, that's something for you just to have a look at. And, so if, you're, and if you're on television um, as well, and I've seen this a couple of times actually, um, and Craig's forgotten his special tool for his eyebrows, then that doubles as an eyebrow fixer just before you go on air. I've seen it. Really? <laughs> I've seen you do it, Craig. I know you, you, think, you think I haven't seen you doing it, but you know, because you've done it under the desk, but I saw. Cle That's clearly my, my su surprise of uh, Kenya. <laughs> That's, That's why his eyebrows always look so perfect. You notice every single show, there's never an eyebrow out of place. Always Instagram ready. Oh, you crack me up, Derek. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Probably a reason why they don't put us on together as no, much. No, absolutely. Now, what have you got there? Because it, it, from that angle, it looks like a piece of carbon, lots of holes in it. It does. I know. And that's what I mean. This is your back layer. This is kind of like that bit bit, that bit bit. bit. You know, it's the back rhyme. It's bit, got bit. lots of just little bits just uh, die cut out. And then let's see if I've popped this on the, the right way. So there's only one way to go. Then there we go. Have I got ah, it the right way? I have indeed. So that creates gaps in the background. So it does. That's what then gives you that option of having all that dimension. So you can yeah. see on the back as well, we're talking about glue gel or foam pads. This gives you so many options and so many places to pop your adhesive on. Yeah. So let's move that one out of the way. And, and then you, you could, um, if you've got a big enough Xyron, you could run them all through a Xyron as well, could you? You absolutely yeah. can. Yep, you, you, we do do larger Xyrons. Again, unfortunately, it's one of the casualties of what's going on in uh, life at the moment that it's taken uh, longer to come back in stock. We do have some of the smaller ones though, I do believe, because someone even dropped me a message the other day saying, Derek, you're always on about wanting one of those. Well, it's, it's back in stock. Um, so there are some Xyron. Um, I think the smallest one, I think, is back in stock um, on the website. Although, probably within a couple of minutes of saying that, it'll fall back out again. I, would I imagine, wouldn't be cause surprised. Because lots of people want them. Uh, and namely, as well, Debbie Robinson, Debbie Fisher, <laughs> Jan Brown, Craig Laird, Sarah uh, Davis. <laughs> Hello, I'd forgotten Sarah's second name there. Gosh, uh, you've, you've forgotten yesterday. Adam's name, you've forgotten mine, and I've now you've forgotten Sarah's surname. You know why? It's Sunday. That's why. It's just a, the psychology of Sunday. If this was Monday, I'd be pitch perfect. <laughs> but because it's Sunday, there's something about Sunday, isn't there? There is. There is something about Sunday. I've just taken our Centura Peril and I've cut this to eight by nine and a quarter. And I've just scored at an inch all the way round to create our box. So what I'm just going to do... Oh, did you hear that, Derek? Oh, now... It happens all the time, doesn't it? That tool bundle that we have the details on the bottom of the screen where you get the free all-purpose glue has now sold out and gone, unfortunately. Um, so well done if you got it. Congratulations. If it is sitting in your basket right now, I'm not a basket nagger, nor a basket nagger's son, but if you've got it in your basket right now, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Do make sure that you check out as quickly as you possibly can because there ain't no more. Good if you manage to get a hold of that.
I know so many people have already got it and it's something that they use all the time when it comes to uh, taking out all the pieces from their die cuts and it is one, if you didn't manage to get it, you know, do keep an eye, we will get it back but that was a great uh, well, deal to get that, that with. that all-purpose glue, um, just, just to say, the all-purpose glue um, the bottle that we've given away with that bundle, I've seen in UK retailers at like, I think it was something like eight pounds. I've I've seen it eight ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Seen it eight ninety nine in a well known um, craft store. We've definitely got it that, so that's how it is such a good deal. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do the base. This is a box, exactly the same uh, card uh, stock. Well, same um, size that I've cut that to. That would just be the base size of your box. That would then be the lid. Come along, you know, with a sentiment, you know, a bit of decoration for the top. And then there we go. We're using our creator cards, double-sided creator cards, to actually use it and uh, decorate a box. I love it. I love it. It's brilliant, isn't it? Because it just gives you... I mean, you might have plain boxes like that that you've kept from other things that don't have anything on the top. In fact, I was just given one the other day, funnily enough, um, like a, an old box. Oh, you might want this to craft with or whatever. You could just put it back out to its net and then just cut out the double-sided die on the top. It's brilliant. I love these. I love all of these. And this is a show that you can get completely and utterly lost in. But what you must focus and keep in mind is the uh, five or six main bundles that we've got in this show because this, the up to, and some of them are 70% saving on the bundles that we've got today, but make sure you check them out today because come midnight tonight, that's whether midnight you're in the UK or Holland or Germany or US or wherever, wherever it's midnight, wherever you are, that's when Black Friday deals are done and dusted. So get them checked out while they've got those extra savings on them um, because they were brilliant prices anyway. We've taken even more money off just because it's Black Friday. Wow. Now what happens on Monday? Because it's a Monday, it's a bit of a, bit of a special day as well, isn't it? It's Cyber Monday on Monday, isn't it? it now, are, is. we doing a, are we doing a thing for that, Craig? I, I don't know. I'm not in tomorrow. I'm not sure what I've got planned. Are we doing a thing for that, Johnny? <laughs> but what I wanted to say, though, Go on. is everything that you've seen me creating, what you would do if they weren't double-sided, you would need twice as many dies to create what I'm creating. That's true, yeah. But the fact, because they're double-sided, so yeah, obviously price, you're getting a ridiculous price as it is, but then think of space as well, mm -hmm. the space that it saves as well. So just awesome. That's really, really so true, awesome. because for every double-sided die you get, in effect, that's two dies. Yep. And so in effect, that's potentially double the price even before we start the discounting. Yeah, that's very, very true. Right, listen. Um, this floral collection is brilliant. I mean, because you are getting, what is it? Is it uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, isn't it, in this one? Five double-sided dies, which have been double discounted already. Let me just remind myself. So originally we had a 65% discount on these. Now we've taken another 5% off to round it up to the 70%. So we don't just say in our Black Friday offers up to 70%. We will genuinely discount things by 70%, which is amazing. And that's what we've done with this one. And you get the Cosmos, you get the Dahlia, you get the Peony, which is the big blousy rose. You get the classic English rose, which is beautiful. You could smell the perfume from there, can't you? And look at all of the elements there are, just on that one rose. All of the different elements that you've got there, all with that double-sided dimension, which I love. And then you've got the sprigs and blossoms, um, which is just beautiful. And you could use those standalone. I mean, if you think about the, the, the black and white monochromatic cards that Craig was using earlier, you could just use elements of sprigs and blossom, cut those out in black and white, matte and layer against each other. Be incredible. £28.50, $38.95 saving look saving 65 percent plus five percent so that's a 70 percent saving because it has been double discounted um for black friday see i love it i think it's absolutely brilliant right let's remind you of the bundle we've got on your double-sided plates as well so you can buy individually just your double-sided plates for the junior or for the full-size gemini but what we've done is we've done a bundle which is one for the full-size gemini and one gemini junior double cutting double-sided cutting plate as well because quite often you notice that people here um, Sarah Craig everyone quite often use the junior plates and put those through your full-size Gemini as well so if you like doing that for speed as well then this bundle is really really useful because you've got the bigger plate if it's a bigger die but you've also got the junior plate there as well and I don't think any of the double-sided um, 
somebody asked a question about the size of the double-sided dies we have. Um, I don't think any of them went over five by seven, if I remember correctly. From all of the packaging that I saw, all of the double-sided dies would have go, would go um, within a five by seven, um, which is fantastic. I love it. And of course, your junior plates are six by just under nine, aren't they? Which is great. Anyway, right back to Craig, and we're going to do a flower. Now a different flower this time, Craig. Which one are we doing? We're going to go for the Cosmos, so a bit of a different style, different take on this one. We're going to stay very purple and lilac and pastel themed. So I'm still just going to use my large Gemini because we had that set up from before. So what we're going to do with this one is I've just taken a couple of shades of purple, a deep purple and a lilac for this one. And then we're going to bring in the Cosmos flower. So you've got the main flower, you've got the centre part of the flower as well as the leaves and foliage, all double sided. So as I've been saying all the way through, we've got the uh, back layer. So this one has just got the lines all the way around that die cut. So that's going to be my base. So that one can go there. Then this top layer, we're just going to pop our uh, lilac over the top. And just to say, so this side here is the textured side. So therefore it's going to go face down. So that can sit just like that one. Then I've got a couple of uh, layers of uh, deep green and light green as well. So they can go in place. And then we're going to bring in the leaf. So the back layer I want to have in that deep tone and then the uh, mid layer of your leaf we're going to pop that with the lighter green and then we've got your uh, two bits of cardstock we need for the centre so if we bring this one in once again we can see this one it's got the die cut areas all the way around so that's going to be my base layer so that can be that deep yellow and then that top layer can be the lighter kind of like ivory shade. And then we're just going to pop our plates over the top and that's moved. So let's go back with the static, pop that one back. If that does happen, you can always pop just a little bit of low tack tape just underneath each layer of uh, card just to hold it down into place. But once you've got your plates lined up, then that will hold it and secure it. So I can just go all the way through. So this is what I mean, you've seen there that those three dies that I used, which would then be uh, six dies usually, that went right to the top of my uh, large cotton plate. So I could potentially do a th another three different flowers. You know, I could do, you know, maybe the five or the six without the leaves and the foliage. You could do it even more than that. So this is why sometimes when it comes to your larger plates, if you want to do more flowers at once, then it's beneficial to do it on your uh, larger plate. So if we take these ones off, so let's take that top layer. Again, we were on about stencils earlier on, that would make a really nice stencil. But we can take that base layer out. So if we just peel that one out, so there we go. And then what we can do is take this next layer, which is still within my cardstock. So we're just going to just prise that one out, few little bits just to actually poke out. And then there we go, you can see how that then, all you need to do is just have a look around, work it around where it'll line up on top. Bringing in the next couple of layers, so we've got our base part of your it's kind of like your, it's not a stamen, but the stamen center for your flower. The middle bit. The middle bit, yeah. yeah. So See, that's where as well, if you wanted to separately, um, you could actually um, emboss that, couldn't you? Of course you could. And give that a little bit more di dimension, so little dots of glue and some embossing powder um, on top there. Another top tip, by the way, has just come in from Tansy Pansy uh, on YouTube, who says a lint roller is really good for the teeny tiny bits and doesn't leave your area covered as it holds on to them. That's really good, actually. So even after you've used your tool and the little dots and things, they, uh, for me, they, they hide under the edges of my glass mat. So when I lift up my glass mat, I'm like, where did all that come from? But a quick rollover with a lint roller, that's it. That's so clever. That's such a good idea, Craig, isn't it? That is such a good idea. I know. I love that idea. Might even start to uh, use that one use as well. Use it, yeah. So there we go. There's the centre of our uh, leaf or foliage. So let's just take these bits. I'm just going to sit them to the side at the moment and oh. we'll get rid of these bits. Craig, will you wish Julie a uh, happy birthday for tomorrow, as I will as well, because she is a... Uh, She's a grand age. I'm, I'm never going to say a lady's uh, age out loud. Um, but congratulations, Julie, and happy birthday for tomorrow. Happy birthday for tomorrow, Julie. Hope you have a lovely day. And uh, whatever you get up to, you know, hope you have time actually uh, sit and watch us. A nice cup of tea or something. Yeah, be nice. absolutely. Have a lovely day. I'd, I'd send you a slice of my lovely cake if you weren't so far away. <laughs> and it is lovely, let me tell you. My 
My stomach is testament to it. And Craig shall will be, be later. I shall be trying a bit. If Craig's Once, got a food baby later, you'll know why. If I'm sitting down because I'm like yeah. bloated, I'm like, oh, <laughs> you will know why. <laughs> so there we go. So I've just created the start base of a card that you can see there, a stepper card. Now I've got a few of these already just popped through the Xyron. So we've taken that top one. Again, very, very easy to line these ones up. So we're just going to work our way around. So I'm just having a look on this bit here. Always kind of uh, pinpoint one area that you can then look at and then start to line up. So we're just going to pop that one on, work that one in. If it moves, all that I'm going to do is just carefully peel that one back up and then just move it back into place ever so slightly. Use your pokey tool if you need. So then what we're going to do is bring in the centre parts. So for this one, let's just pop that one on first. And if you, I was just thinking, Craig, if you wanted like instant dimension on what you were doing there, you could cut one side in card, couldn't you, and cut the other side in foam. So that top outline layer that you've got on that flower, if that were it was in foam, then that would automatically kind of jump out from the flower anyway, wouldn't it? Absolutely, it will do. So what I'm that so would happen... i at the moment, I don't know why. Or what would happen, sorry, is that that kind of replaces the need for foam pads and then you're just using <gasps> your foam instead. In that case, it was a terrible idea then, Craig, wasn't no. it? <laughs> no, because then what happens is you get that coloured um, aspect yes. when it comes to yeah. the uh, you know, the flower, the scent, or whatever it is that you're using. Yeah. So no, absolutely. I'm, I'm loving it. You know, it's great seeing all your ideas on your Insta, but it's so good. You're actually hearing them as well you know things like, oh, i could do this now i could do that yeah. and yeah yeah so good to it's see it's good i think I, I think it's always good just to have like one big chat about we could do this we could do that i mean a lot of people have said oh actually you know like the fact that you've tried that because sometimes i come out with ideas and i think well unless you put them into action there's no point in kind of having the idea if you don't give it a try you, you know what what's the worst that can happen and actually a lot of people have said oh actually do you know what? You've inspired me to have a go. And I know, it, particularly with your demonstrations, Craig, um, as well, people always say, oh, now that's a new idea I have never thought about. So you're always constantly thinking about new ideas as well, aren't you? I am. I am. You know, and that's what I try to do, you know, when I'm at home thinking of different ideas. We all do it. Every one of us on the team. You'll see it when, uh, if we post things on uh, social media, that we're trying to think, you know, yes, we'll try and think of the basics to show you. But then we are also thinking about, right, what else can we do it without scaring you off? We're just trying to think of different ways, different techniques, different terms even to just quickly show you how you can do different things with the dyes if there is such a way. But you can see on that one there, just added that little bit extra height onto the flowers, although the dimension's already there with the card. And then we'll see just there, keeping it very purple and lilac, just using the cosmos. But how incredible would that look if that was all white and red, you know, for the rose. And then if you've got uh, the, the figs, the, the figs, the, um, the sprigs, sprigs, that's the words, the sprigs, you know, you could be die cutting them and you could be popping them in behind as well. So think of these things that you can do too. Sorry, I could have helped you there, couldn't I? And what I was doing was I was sorting through some samples um, because I think they're absolutely amazing. Um, there, isn't a, there isn't a fig dye, unfortunately, but unless Craig designs one, uh, there might be one in the future. You never know. Uh, let me show you some cards. I'm going to show you the cards rather than the boards this time around because I think these are absolutely amazing. I mean, they're really, really good. Now, this one is called Butterfly Kaleidoscope, and I have this one at home as well, and I absolutely love it because you've got all of that dimension and and it's the the waste is almost as important as the main feature if you like especially with butterfly kaleidoscope because you get loads of butterflies that you can use and because they're different sizes it gives that impression of different distances it gives that impression that some of the butterflies are far away and some of them are really really near so it gives that lovely dimension as well now in this set a lovely sample as well by the way from Joanne Garrett, which is beautiful. Um, on this one, you also have your retro, this is retro floral, this one, isn't it? It's stunning. I absolutely love it. I mean, look at those colors. And the thing is, you can make this as contemporary or as vintage and funky as you like, which I think is really, really fantastic. Then we have one which is called Lots of Love, um, which has 
again, lots and lots of dimension in it. I love it. I mean, that's just very, very simple, isn't it? With like a rose gold um, mirror card at the back and then the other layer just cut out in white. But it gives it lots and lots of dimension. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Love it, love it, love it. Then we have your stargazing. Now, this is really fun. Now, the reason I wanted to show you the samples is look at this one from Rebecca. It's absolutely stunning. And this is a stepper card as well. Um, sorry, an ease, uh, easel card or stepper card? I always forget with these. Easel. Easel card, sorry. Do you know what? I haven't made an easel card yet. Maybe I should do that this week and then it will stay in my head. Um, I'm, I'm just TP mad at the moment. But an easel card, I mean, look at those colours. Absolutely awesome. Um, think about your new glitter markers. Think about your tri-blend brush markers with those and your inks as well. You're going to love it. Then we've got Decadent Deco, which I love. Again, that can be really, really super, super sophisticated. It can be great fun. And again, you, that idea that I had before, that even when you've, you've cut out the double-sided and you've put the elements together, you can then take a band in the middle of that and split it out, take away that middle band, use it in another part of the card as a map and layer. I think it's brilliant. And also in this collection is opulent tiles as well, which I love. And here's a gorgeous sample uh, by Lisa West here. And again, she's used a combination of lovely turquoise, blue and gold there as the three colours. And then just put that big, beautiful sentiment there on the top. Isn't that beautiful? £67.47 or $80.85. Right, okay, I think we've got one more time. Yes, we have just about. Time for one more demo, Craig. We've only got 10 minutes though. I know you can do it. Right, Gio. We can do it. We can get this uh, card at least started anyway. So we're going to use the creator card right from the very beginning. We're going to use the opulent tiles. So let's bring in our plates just here. This one is very, I love this one in the fact that it's very kind of like geometric. You know, you've got a mixture of circles as well as squares within this one here. A lot of detail within it. So all that I just want to do once again is I've got two shades of uh, green cardstock here. So I just want, need to determine, I need to work out what one, what side I want to have what side. What side, that was very bad English, what side do I want to twitch? So I'm just going to, let's go for this side here, I'm going to go for the deep green. So this side here has got lots of circles within it. And then this top layer here has got lots of squares within it. So we can just pop that one on. And then we're just going to bring in our next cutting plate. And then we're just going to bring our top cutting plate from our Gemini. Line these ones up. So as you were saying, Derek, all of our double-sided dies, including these crate cards, you're going to go through our Gemini Junior plates because of the size of them. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about that one, that one. So if you've got your large Gemini, but you don't have maybe a Junior, then you can even get the Junior plates if you wanted to use it with these. So it's entirely up to yourself. Here's a quick question, um, Craig, actually. It's an interesting one. It's maybe... It's maybe a topic for debate, actually. Um, Anne on Facebook says, I'm never sure whether with leaves, that whether we should do the leaves dark and the veins light or the other way around. I would say it's really personal preference. I always like to tend to have the, the leaves or the veins or the leaves dark in the background and then the veins and that I tend to have lighter. But it's entirely up to yourself. You know, there's no right or wrong way about it. And it can be different seasonally as well, I think, because actually you can go with Thanksgiving cards, which we, of course we've just been making, and Christmas cards, because they are festive, you could always do green leaf, gold vein, because that completely then gives it a, a, a new twist, doesn't it? Rather than going with traditional, this is the colour it would be, go with something completely crazy. It's your card, isn't it, at the end of the day, Craig? It is, and it might also depend on what colour cardstock you've got left yeah. over. Of course, you can die cut them all in white and then colour them yourself with your alcohol pens. Or if you like to create your background with your sparkle pens or aqua pens, why not uh, create your own and then die cut them? So it is completely personal preference whether uh, you like certain colours or certain ways. But that's just one of the layers that we've just die cut just there when it comes to the lighter cardstock that we can see just there. So we've got a mixture of squares within that one. See, that on its own is awesome. It is. You don't it? have to layer them up no, at, all. at all. No, Use them on their own if you want. 
And of course you can cut everything twice and then paper piece the opposite, can't you? Exactly. And make two completely different cards in one go, exactly. in one sitting. It's really, really good. Because if you're happy with the result of one, to make two in exactly the same way at the same time is brilliant. That's another advantage of these double-sided ones as well, Craig, isn't it? It is, yeah. The way that you look at some of them, you know, it's, it could potentially be two completely die two completely different dies or two different uses uh, within one die cut but of course they are all made to uh, actually layer on top of each other so that one I just done there is that's got a mixture of slight little hexagons with uh, little circles within it throughout let's just bring in a bit of white so you can see and then we're going to just layer these ones up. So within these, all these little die cuts, you've got little hex and you've got tiny little dots as well. They would be great for little accents in the corner of your cards if you don't have gems or perils. So let's just bring this one out. And then what we're just going to do is just using our tape runner for this one, our dotty tape runner. We're just going to, he says carefully, but he's trying to watch, uh, watch the time so we can at least get this bit done. We're just going to go around the edges. So if you're just tuning in between, uh, or if you didn't catch the start of the show, what I was saying as well, you could still use your double-sided adhesive sheets on the back of your cardstock and then just peel the back and off once you've cut them. Or of course, you can still use your sprays if you wanted to. Could oh. you on that one, could you have liner taped around the outside? Is it, is it thick enough to do that? Uh, you could do, if you would need to use the, I think it's the 3mm red liner tape or uh -huh. the 3mm double sided tape, you could line that all the way around if you wanted to. No problem. So let's just pop that on a top bit of white card and then let's just do another one onto a layer of black and then what I'll do is I'll bring in a finish card because this is the concept of the double sided dies being used so I won't go any further but you can see how it lines up upon each other and then if you wanted to bring in some more and then just with your hexagons then with the smile you can see how that will then look but completely changing the colour on that one compared to you know maybe being if I just lean over and just get let's say for instance where we got where we got where we got here so on this one we've used some green and some of our pink or purple luxury card same dye but completely different look depending on how and what colours that you use it's amazing and I've got, a, I've got a third one here, uh, which was Lisa's um, sample, which has used that lovely turquoise and greens and golds. And it's just, it's, it's stunning what you can do. And that's just from one die. I mean, if I was to send you that one die right now, you'd have, seeing Craig's demonstration there, you'd have a hundred different ideas. So imagine that timing that by all of the ones that you have in the bundle it's brilliant and then mixing and matching the concepts from the various sets that we've had in the show should we have just a quick recap before we uh, finish the show um it's brilliant so we've got our double-sided floral collection which has got all of those wonderful wonderful elements to it um that's got one of the biggest discounts on it as well 70 percent saving all told which is the best ever price on that one 28 pounds 50 38 dollars 95 really really cute as well then we've got those double-sided toppers again a brilliant brilliant discount 70 percent genuine discount there for you taking that price down from a potential of 115 pounds nearly down to just 45 pounds 97 um, nearly 150 dollars down to just under 60 which is ridiculous isn't it when you think about it even though you're not paying that price either with your club inspire discount i doubt check in right now to grab that while you can and then we've also got your Christmas edgeables as well. This is a really, really lovely. These haven't been around for that long either, I have to tell you, um, to do a nice big discount like that. It's now 40% saving there, which is ridiculous. So you're getting six of our double-sided edgeable Christmas dies there for less than 50 pounds, less than $65, which is a massive, massive double discount saving. Well done. And then we've got your double-sided creator cards. Um, as well again with these they are Christmas they are a six piece as well it's a really fabulous fabulous buy £95.58 or $114.70 now now is the best time to buy your plates as well because we've got this double sided plates bundle remember which um, represents a saving of 35% on its own which is really really cool um, I love that saving uh, £12 nearly $15 
as well. So grab that quickly while you can. It is awesome. Is that, are we done? We can't be done, Craig, can we? I can't believe that. Derek, as always, although it's been a while since I can say that's so good to actually work with you. I Absolute know. Absolute pleasure. Well, I we... say I know. That sounded very conceited, didn't it? I mean, it was a joy, as it always is. I can't believe it was just the one show, but never mind, um, because we will have more soon when someone slips up on the schedule and we get put on together again, because it should never happen, apparently. There's been a memo, but there you go. Apparently so. Uh, Craig, a pleasure. You are back later with Joe, aren't you, with Second Chance Sunday? Any clues? I am back. We are back in an hour, as you just said, and we've got, just think of everything that we've had throughout the week. We've got Gatefold, we've got Edgeables, we've got Rose Gold, we've got Metallic Markers, we've got Santa's Kitchen, which I've never done before, not on a show. We've got Discovery Kits. Um, we've got so much more. Everything that you know and love from Crafters Companion throughout this past week, myself and Joe, we are going to be, Joe's going to be talking about them, I'm going to be showing them. That's later on on Second Chance Sunday. You have seen my cake, though. I don't, I don't know. I think Joe might be eating cake all the way through the show. I think it might be doing a bit more talking than you think, Craig, um, in that show. Let's see. It's back in an hour's time. Don't forget, 3 p.m. on the East Coast as well is our U.S. warehouse um, clearance as well, which you can shop for right now on our U.S. page. Just remember, just a quick reminder, because a couple of you have been talking about it uh, on the comments as well. If you're placing orders, um, from the warehouse sale, that will need to be one order, which you check out on its own. You can't mix the crafters TV and the warehouse into one order, so check them out as separate orders. But the great thing about the warehouse clearance is anything over $30 and you will get free shipping as well, I saw in our comments as well, which is amazing. Listen, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay right where you are, because in an hour's time, Joe will be here with Craig for Second Chance Sunday. And talking of Sunday, I will be back for both shows next Sunday as well. So I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.